today we'll be analyzing the different conditions of hyperbola to find its standard equations. So, in finding the standard equation, pinakaunang dapat gawin is to analyze. Dapat huwag kang malito sa given. Then, alam mo dapat kung ano ang posisyon ng hyperbola mo. It's either horizontal ba or vertical. Basta pag horizontal, ang x part ang positive. Then, all the time, sa positive, sa a squared ang denominator. Then, pag horizontal also, ang transverse axis mo is also horizontal. Pag vertical, ang y part na positive then sa a squared din ang denominator. Then, ang uh, transverse axis mo is vertical. Then, ang uh, length ng vertex to vertex is 2a. Conjugate axis, ang length na is 2b. Ang uh, focus to focus um, is 2c. Then, pag alam mo mga vertex, uh, coordinates ng vertex or focus, kunin mo lang yung gitna, malalaman mo na yung center. Then, pag alam mo yung center, may value ka na ng a, may value ka na ng b, so, makukuha mo na sa standard equation. Then, so in addition also, I choose this example kasi may mga radical side. So, alam naman natin, kadalasan kasi, may personal experience sa mga taking students ko, nahihirapan o nalilito sa numbers or sa mga variables na may radical. So, um, using this example, I am hoping you could recall your loss of uh, radical. Then, at the same time, this is very useful in higher mathematics. So, without further ado, let us start. So, we have number 1, vertices negative 4, negative 5, in negative 4, 9, and one of its foci is negative 4, 2 minus square root of 65. Again, in finding the standard equation ng hyperbola, pinakaunang malaman mo dapat is the position. Kung horizontal ba or vertical siya. Then, um, find the values of A, B, and C. Then, the coordinate ng center mo. Pag meron ka ng center, meron ka ng values ng A squared and B squared, then alam mo na ang position, then you can now have the standard equation. So, let us analyze the given vertices. So, obvious naman, walang changes na nangyayari sa X, samantalang sa Y, meron. So, it implies na ang uh, hyperbola mo is vertical or patayo. Basta ganitong situation. Samantala kung ang X naman ang may changes, so ang hyperbola mo is uh, horizontal or pahiga. So, may idea ka na ng standard equation mo is Y minus K squared over A squared minus X minus H squared over B squared equals 1. Y part ang positive pag uh, vertical ang hyperbola mo. Then, to find the value of A, alam natin nga vertex to vertex is 2A, right? So, bali, ang distance ng dalawang uh, point na ito, dalawang points na ito, so, is equal to 2A. So, paano makuha ang distance nila using two points? So, gagamit ka ng distance formula, which is X minus 1, uh, sub 1, minus X sub 2 squared, plus Y sub 1, minus Y sub 2 squared, so, um, substitute the value. So, magiging 0 ito. Remember, parehas kung isubtract mo, magiging 0. Uh, plus, ito, negative 5 minus 9 squared. So, this will become 196. So, your 2A is 14. Divide both sides by 2. Divide both sides by 2. So, your A is 7. So, is, ang target natin, kunin si a squared. So, your a squared, is square mo lang yung 7. So, 49. So, a squared, kulang na lang si b squared. So, let us analyze the another condition. So, one of its foci is um, negative 4 to negative uh, minus square root of 65. So, if you could recall ang foci, makukuha mo gamit ang value ng c. Ang C na yan, pwede mong i-plus o i-minus either sa, sa X or sa Y, depende sa posisyon ng hyperbola mo. So, meaning, ang isang focus o ang kasama nito is negative 4, 2 plus square root of 65. So, ito, it implies na ang value, ni, ang value na ito is your C. Bali, ang C mo is square root of 65. Then, ang target natin is C squared. So, para, para maging C squared, square mo lang siya. So, C squared equals to square mo. Papakita ko lang. So, cancel So, 65. 
So, may A squared ka na, may C squared ka na. So, pwede mo nang kunin si B squared. So, if you could recall ang sa hyperbola, C squared equals to A squared plus B squared, right? So, obviously, B squared is equivalent to C squared minus A squared. So, your B squared equals to 65 minus 49. So, your B squared is um, 16. So, hindi ko na kailangan kunin ang value ng B kasi sa equation, B squared ang hinahanap. So, ano yung center mo? So, ito, obvious naman. Yung center mo is negative 4, 2. So, if you're going to check this one without uh, without having this condition, kahit uh, sa vertex lang tayo mag-check, mag sa mga vertex lang tayo. So, as we all know, ang verte, uh, vertices, ang foci, tapos ang center, ay kulinyay, di ba? So, balik kung standby lang ang values ng x, same sa center, standby lang. So, ang center mo, standby lang sa negative 4. Saan nakuha si 2? Uh, alam natin, ang vertex to vertex, ang gitna niya is ang center or ang midpoint. So, para kunin ang midpoint between negative 5 and 9, ang gitna nila, so, i-plus mo lang divided by 2. So, negative 5 plus 9 is positive 4 divided by 2, kaya nagiging 2. Or center mo, negative 4, 2. So, may center ka na, may value ka na ng B squared, may value ka na ng A squared. So, substitute directly. So, may answer ka na na Y. So, from positive, magiging negative 2 squared over um, 49 minus X. So, from pas pas uh, negative, magiging positive 4 squared over 16 equals to 1. So, this would be your final answer. And please be reminded also na si A squared or dito banda, all the time, mas malaki siya or equal. Hindi siya pwede dito maliit na banda. Tandaan nyo yan ha, mas malaki or equal siya. Kasi, bakit magiging equal? Pag parehas ang values ng A or B. Sir, how about mas maliit dito? Try to check your manipulation. Baka may or wrong. So, that's it. So, number 2, we have foci, negative 4 square root of 2, 0, and 4 square root of 2, 0, and the absolute value of the differences of the distances of any point from the foci is 8. So, let us analyze the given foci. So, um, ang x lang ang may changes. Eh. So, may idea ka na na hyperbola mo is horizontal or pahiga. Then, ang uh, equation or standard form ng pahiga or horizontal hyperbola. So, ito, ang x part ang positive. Then, saan nakuha si A? Um, if you could recall the definition ng hyperbola, the absolute value of the differences of the distances of any point from the foci is 2A. So, since 2A siya, equate mo lang itong value na to, 8, um, divide both sides by 2, so A is 4. Then, square mo siya, so A squared equals to 16. Then, emphasize ko ito sa inyo, kung ganito yung given ay the foci or vertices, as you can see, 0, 0, then ito, ang difference nila is ang sign lang. Again, pag 0, 0 dito, or kahit balik ta rin mo, basta 0, 0 yung katabi, then ang, ang kaibahan ng isa is ang sign lang. Automatic, ang center mo ay nasa origin. Handaan nyo yan, ha? Kahit dito, sa so may x banda, 0, 0 dito, or then dito sa y, any value, as long as ang kaibaan or difference nila is sa ang sign lang, automatic, ang center mo ay nasa origin. So, ang bali, ang foci nakarely sa value ng C. So, makukuha na si foci, gamit ang value ng C, plus or subtract mo, either sa X or sa Y, depende sa posisyon ng hyperbola mo. So, bali, yung C mo, obviously, is 4 square root of 2. Let us check this one gamit ang ibang method. So, foci, as you can see, focus to focus, ang value niyan is 2C. Or, ang length niyan is 2C. So, 2C, paano kunin ang uh, distance nila? Using 2 points, use distance formula. So, square root of x sub 1 minus x sub 2 squared. Then, plus y sub 1 minus y sub 2 squared. So, ito, 4 square root of 2 minus negative 4 square root of 2. Um... Plus, obvious naman, magiging 0 ito. So, this would become uh, 4 square root of 2 plus uh, 4 square root of 2. So, ito. 
din square pala so okay may square ito if you could recall the laws ng addition and subtraction of radicals may tinatawag tayong similar radical pag ang radical or sa loob ng radical sign parehas then ang index niya ito square root square root dapat parehas sila square root kung cube root ito hindi mo siya pwedeng ma-add again dapat parehas ang radical parehas din ang index so ito pwede mo ma-add so your answer is um, 8 square root of 2 copy lang ang uh, radical mo then uh, i-add mo ang coefficient na 4 and 4 so 8 then square mo makakancel so therefore 2c is 8 square root of 2 so ang target natin ang target natin is kunin ang value ng uh, c So, divide both side by 2, divide both side by 2, makakancel ka. So, you see, uh, you see, is 4 square root of 2. Diba? 8 divided by 2 is 4. Then, may C ka na, then may A squared ka na. Gawin natin C squared. So, square. Then, if you could recall also the loss of radical, if you have A, B squared, this can be written as A squared, B squared. So, if you have this C squared, magiging 4 squared, then times square root of 2 squared. So, makakancel, makakancel. So, your C squared is 16 times 2, or your C squared is times ito, ha? Your C squared is 32. So, my A squared, my C squared ka na, then how to find the value of B squared? So, B squared equals to C squared minus A squared. So, your B squared is... Um, 32 minus 16. So, B squared mo is 16. So, substitute the value. May center ka na. 0. By the way, ang center mo, obvious naman, 0, 0. So, substitute the value. So, X um, squared. Kasi 0 siya. Over A squared mo, 16 minus Y squared. Kasi 0. Over 16 equals to 1. Again, sinabi ko kanina sa number 1, pwedeng magkaparehas ang A squared or B squared as long as hindi pwedeng maliit dito banda or ang A squared, ha? Tandaan nyo yan. So, lastly, we have number 3, center negative 6, 9, a vertex negative 6, 15, conjugate axis of length 12. So, as you can see, using these two points, mapapansin mo na ang Y part ang may changes. So, kung ang y ang may changes, so, automatic siya, ang hyperbola mo is a vertical or patayo. So, kung patayo, ang standard equation mo is y minus k squared over a squared minus x minus h squared over b squared equals to 1. Then, in addition, if you could recall, ang ang distance ng center to vertex is A, di ba? So, using these two points and by applying the distance formula, makukuha mo ang A. So, x sub 1 minus x sub 2 squared plus y sub 1 minus y sub 2 squared. So, obviously, magiging 0 ito. Then, plus 9 minus 15 squared. So, A is um, negative 6 squared 36 so square root 36 so your a is 6 or you may verify this one kahit hindi ka nagagamit ng distance formula by simply looking this one so 15 ilang distance between 9 and 15 so 15 minus 9 so 6 then your a squared is 36 so b na lang uh, b squared na lang ang kulang So, using the second condition, conjugate axis of length 12. So, if you could recall, conjugate axis is 2B, di ba? So, equate mo lang ng 12. Divide both sides by 2. So, B is also 6. And B squared is also 36. So, no need na ang value ng C kasi meron ka ng A squared, B squared, tapos yung center mo. Then, substitute the value. So, Y magiging negative 9 squared over... 36 minus uh, x from negative 6 magiging plus 6 over 36 squared 
it equals to 1. So this would be your final answer. Again, thank you so much for watching. Thank you so much.